these hands be a famous Indian dancer, and this gesture means a veil drawn aside from the face. Now the left hand means cattle, and the right hand a stick. The picture as the stick strikes down is of the Lord Krishna driving his cattle. Now the left hand, to those who know, is a mountain. The little finger thrusting under it is Lord Krishna's lifting Mount Govardhan. So the hands turn to a more gentle theme, the picking of a flower off the pine tree. The fingers offer the flower to the god. The left hand changes into a mortar and the right hand into a pestle stirring in it, grinding sandal paste. Picturing a bee, the right hand hovers and buzzes and worries over the left hand, which is a lotus flower. Both hands work together in the same gesture this time, lifting a water pot. The left hand slides into a shape meaning the world and the right hand means the moon. The moon rises slowly and majestically over the world. Here is another dancer to present those other cut-up gestures which are done not only with the hands but with the eyes and face as well. First the elephant flapping his long ears. The ears described, the trunk is now pictured. And there are the tusks. This is the tiger gesture. Another animal, a deer. The dancer is now talking about the eyes. Here, two fingers ripple down the cheeks, meaning tears. This means daytime. And this is nighttime. And this is beauty. The eyes, the face and the arms together are expressing now pity. This one is done with flashing eyes, it conveys anger. Then last, this impudent and gay gesture of the face and hands means love. This storytelling dance of Northern India has a long tradition as is strikingly shown in these paintings. Vivid illustrations, several hundred years old, of the Kathak gesture language. Most of the Kathak dances are dedicated to Lord Krishna and thus to a Kathak dance itself by an expert performer, Ram Narayan Misra of Nrichalyam. The dancer's movements mirror the meaning of the Sanskrit song which says, Radha and Krishna are seated on a swing, hung between two jeweled pillars. And the crown which Radha wears is shaped like the crescent moon. Krishna sits beside her. And then suddenly it seems as though lightning flashes through the black clouds. The peacock, seeing their unearthly beauty, dance. The clouds are massing. There is thunder rumbling in the distance. A soft breeze begins to blow, and the breeze is scented. Rain begins to fall gently. Now the women dancers, Kamla and Shevanti, again of Nrichalyam, take up the dance. The Sanskrit verse and their gestures cry out in adoration, Krishna, Lord of the universe, whom Radha loves. quick turns of the whole body, almost pirouettes, are typical movements from which one can recognize the Kathak style of dance. The 
sideway movements of the eyes and head are typical too. Ganapati namo namo Jatadhari Sangaliye Parvati namo namo Shiva's meditation is disturbed. A sage has come to say, your wife Sati is dead. The guests of her father said evil things of you, Lord Shiva, and in shame she burned herself on the sacrificial altar. Shiva, grief-stricken, goes down to his dead wife. with rage he smashes the altar and he lifts his dead wife onto his trisula. on to a sad remembering as stifled with grief he recalls the one time happy days her face was beautiful as the moon he remembers she had perfection in all her attributes she was my wife the wife of the god out of whose head the ganges flows he thinks that for revenge he will utterly destroy the world. It is a monstrous place and every living thing shall be utterly destroyed. Shiva is a god of quick temper and the mood of destruction passes. Sadly, he sinks back once again into unmoving, quiet contemplation. Namo, namo, 